have the motivation, you don't have the drive because you did not start your business for the right reasons. If you are passionate about what you're starting your business in, you will have no problem putting in the work, staying motivated, staying dedicated because you know this is what you want to do. channel y'all already know who it is or you should know who it is the ceo of ice tasting i'm back with another video if you are new here be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not new welcome back as y'all can tell from the title y'all already know what this video is going to be about it's going to be strictly about lashes and how i'm able to make the money that i make off of lashes but first of all i want to go ahead and state that um a lot of people, just because I tell y'all these things in this video does not mean if you copy everything that I do that the results is going to be the same for you. Because a lot of people, they like to look at brands or businesses like me post, look at other businesses, and they think that, oh, I want, like, say for example, if I post I got a new car. Oh, I'm trying to get a new car, so let me copy off everything that she's doing because I'm going to get a new car. And y'all, that's not how it works works so i just want to go ahead and state that i'm gonna offer insight and give y'all tips and stuff that i do which i also have ebooks available for purchase on my website i have plenty of other videos on my channel where i go more in depth when it comes to growing your following and stuff like that i have ebooks and i have plenty of videos i just don't really do those videos no more because i don't want to be repetitive because i have those videos already on my channel but stay tuned for the social media handbook which will be my ebook covering all four social media platforms and how i've been able to make thousands off of all these social medias but anyways i got my notes so Based on um, what this video is about and how I'm able to make how much I make a week off of just selling lashes, I'm going to speak off of my notes. Number one, I am a wholesaler. I am a lash wholesaler. So if you're selling retail lashes, of course, you're not going to make the same amount as me because I am a wholesaler. And when I state that I'm a wholesaler, I just did not start wholesaling. I pretty much have been wholesaling since the start of my business. So I've been wholesaling for almost three years right now. This is my third year. So... For you to even talk about becoming a wholesaler, that requires a lot of trust, that requires a lot of investment, a lot of inventory, which of course when wholesaling, you do not have to start with thousands of lashes. I started with 100 when I started wholesaling, but you can't just come out of nowhere and say, oh, I'm going to be a wholesaler because it makes all this money because wholesaling, it takes time for you to get your money back. For example, if you are a retail lash seller, most people resell lashes, let's just say $10. If you're reselling your lashes for $10 and say you bought them for $2 from your supplier, that is $8 in profit that you are getting off of just one pair of lashes. You're getting your profit more faster when you are a retailer versus a wholesaler. And people don't think about that. Now with me being a wholesaler, I could sell one because I do wholesale and retail, but... For one lash versus getting $8 profit, say if I wholesale these for $3 a pair, that means I'm getting $1 profit versus straight up getting $8 at one time, I'm getting $1 profit per lash. So if my MOQ is 10, that means I would have to send, sell 10 lashes just to get $10 in profit. Meanwhile, I could sell one lash and get $8 profit. And if I sold 10 pairs of those same lashes wholesale versus retail, I'm getting what? 10 times 8, $80 in profit retail versus $10. Like, y'all get what I'm saying? So that's something that people don't, let me make sure I put this back in the right cubby. That's something that people don't think about when it comes to wholesaling. So it does take a while for you to see your money especially if you don't have that many customers again with me from the start of me wholesaling i i had people asking me to be a wholesaler so it wasn't hard for me to be a wholesaler because i already had the in, the people inquiring and then i had the inventory so i took off right from there another thing is 
I um, promote different ways. I mainly promote off of social media. So you can promote your business strictly from social media, which like I said, I do have an ebook coming out. I'm thinking I'm going to drop it in April. Yeah, I'm not going to drop it now just because this is one of my most highly anticipated ebooks compared to my other ebooks. And I don't want to rush it. It's already more than 10 pages long, but I want to make sure that I'm still learning as I go. So I want to make sure I can offer as much information as I can in this ebook for you guys. So I think I'm going to drop it in April so just make sure you're following on Instagram to stay tuned for the drop because you do not want to miss that ebook drop but it also has to do with promoting you can't just decide oh I'm gonna start a business and da 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 and you're not promoting and you're not doing anything and you cannot just rely on one platform a lot of people they rely on just Facebook on just Instagram for me for the longest I relied on just Instagram which Instagram did help me grow my business because I started my business page way after my personal page and my personal page is just now about to be at 5k which if you do not follow me be sure to follow me Rika underscore forever to stay tuned with my personal life but my business Instagram is almost at 30k in in less than three years versus my personal Instagram that I've had for years I'm just now getting a 5k so it is possible so again with wholesaling you it does take longer but once you have an established customer base you get consistent customers versus retail with wholesale they're gonna come back they need the stock now it's not just about posting because I know that a lot of people are like especially when I do my mentorships which is not open at this time but when I do my mentorships people are like well I post all day I post three times a day I post five times a day nothing is working just because you post all day every day does not mean that does not guarantee sales just because you pay for ads that does not guarantee sales me personally I can't even remember the last time I ran ads and my Instagram is the proof because Instagram, Facebook, if I go on my insights, it tells you 0% ads was ran. This insights is from no ads, no type of ads. I can't remember the last time I used ads. And again, just because you pay for an ad does not mean that you're going to get sales. And it might bring you some exposure, but a lot of people that I see running ads, they're not using their best photos. When you're running an ad, you want to make sure that you're using something that's going to say, ooh, like if somebody's scrolling, you want them to say, hold up, scroll back and see what it was that was posted. You want them to see your ad or your post and it's going to make them go to your page, hopefully follow. If they're not following, you want it to make them go to your website and hopefully make a sale. It's not just about paying for ads, posting every day. It's more than that. You need a relationship with your customers. I have a wonderful relationship with my tasties. If you are a tasty watching me and you're always on my lives, then y'all know I have a wonderful relationship with you guys. It wasn't until I started going live, like I didn't start going live, which it was easier for me to go live because I already had thousands of followers before I decided to start going live. But when I first started going live, I probably had maybe I want to say 5,000 followers on my page. I really don't remember. But I started to grow a relationship with my customers. I started making internet friends. And it helps with the support because now, you know, people can relate to you. Somebody like me, people can relate to me because at the time I was going to school. I'm now graduating. But if you're a business owner like me going to school, you can relate to me. If you work your job, you can relate to me. If you're around my age, you can relate to me. I'm a very relatable person. So when I go live and when I go live on myself, I'm not putting on a front for nobody. I'm not pretending for nobody a lot of businesses don't go live but I'm one of those businesses that from a few months in I want to say around April ish I started going live and since then I have not stopped going live I did transition from Instagram to TikTok I was going live on Instagram for a long time it wasn't until around Black Friday that I started going live on TikTok so now TikTok is my favorite social media platform at this time and I just love it I just love meeting new people every time I go live gaining new followers I just love it and now my TikTok is almost at 25,000 followers like <laughs> imagine but it is possible so another thing that I want to talk about and again you can't just rely on one platform you can't just you know strictly be on Instagram because what happens if Instagram shuts down how are you going to reach your people you not only want to depend on social media you also want to have an email slash like a marketing list you want to have text and email which of course at the beginning I know y'all it's hard to grow your list but 
you want to offer discounts, make sure you have pop-ups on your website. And um, that's going to be my next ebook after I push out this social media handbook. My next ebook, which will probably be my last ebook, will be my social media, not social media, my email text marketing ebook. So I'm basically going to show you guys all the receipts from when I was slacking, how I wasn't really doing anything, to the progress, the amount of money I've made off of just marketing, whether it's sending out emails or text messages. It's very important to have that, especially as an online business. So when Instagram shuts down, if Facebook shuts down, they cannot control how you're making your money. You still can reach your customers directly through their phone numbers. You still can reach your customers through sending an email, through doing both. You want to make sure that you, you know, you have other options. You want to promote on all platforms. And I know sometimes it's hard, but Instagram does have features to where when you're posting on your Instagram, you can post on your business Facebook page as well. So that's killing two birds with just one. One stone TikTok, even though I haven't posted on there in a few days, y'all. But TikTok, you want to post on TikTok every single day, and it's crazy that with TikTok, you could just go to sleep and wake up and your video is viral. I recently just made a personal TikTok, which is the all pink page. It's um, my personal, it's my name, and y'all, my TikTok is almost at 2,000 followers, and I have three viral videos already on my page that helped me gain a lot of followers. So you could go to sleep and post a video that you feel like is so basic, it's so trash, and you wake up and you got a bunch of followers. I can't make this up, so it's, it's so many free resources out here for us. Don't wait till they start making it harder. Cause y'all know like how with YouTube, when with YouTube at first, anybody could start making YouTube videos and then YouTube came up with, now you have to have a thousand subscribers and now you have to have a certain amount of watch hours to make money don't wait till instagram or tiktok starts raising the requirements to do any things and you didn't hop on the movement before if you don't have a tiktok and you watching this video for your business go ahead and make one if you haven't been on all platforms go ahead and hop on that sis don't wait because i promise y'all it's coming the same way youtube right when i was about to because i was on youtube since i finished high school but again i kept restarting my channel right when i was about to take my channel seriously is when they rolled that out and there's so many free resources out here take advantage so the next thing i want to talk about is picture quality when it comes to even getting sales the picture quality matters a ring light matters i'm gonna have my ring light that i use in my Amazon storefront. So if you click the description box, I have an Amazon storefront, which basically has all my business essentials, all my pink stuff that I use. So you can see the direct, like the actual ring light that I use because I have the big one. Picture quality is very important. There's so many people out here and I can speak on this because I mentor and the quality is, is not giving. When you look at your pictures, you need to look at it and be like, would I purchase this if I was looking at this? would I purchase this? If the answer is no. And then another thing is people feel like they have to buy expensive. You do not need a whole photo studio in your house to take quality pictures. You can literally take a sheet of computer paper, a white background. Y'all, if y'all have not seen my how to take content pictures video, please check that out. I literally use my table I bought from Ikea to take all my product photos on a table, a white table that I use to take all my product photos and I show you guys how I take content, how I take videos. So if you have not, hopefully I remember to pin it at the bottom. If you have not seen that video, I suggest you check it out. And another thing about gaining returning customers when I talk, talk about making all this money weekly with my business is building trust. If you, if your customers do not have a trust relationship with you, how do you expect somebody to shop with you? When it comes to me, I have that tasty prom shipping, okay? We out here shipping orders faster than Amazon. And y'all not even paying for that monthly prime shipping. And I'm still giving y'all fast shipping. And y'all be getting spoiled though, but I still ship out fast. So when a customer orders today, for example, they order 40 lashes wholesale today. And I already ship their orders out tomorrow. And they get their stuff within two days and they can start their business faster than expected that is already going to make them love it if somebody is in the dallas area like me and they shop today and they ship their stuff because sometimes i ship out next day if it's my off day 
I go to the post office that day, same day shipping. They'll get their stuff tomorrow. And that would make them love it. So many times I've shopped with businesses and of course, I understand if you work, you go to school, but it's businesses. I know y'all, it's, it's taking weeks for me to get my stuff and it's just like, I will never shop with you again. I love fast shipping. I love getting my stuff fast. I don't like to bother other business owners when it comes to my orders, but if it's been more than two weeks and I still haven't had my stuff and your shipping policy on your website says otherwise, that's a huge turnoff. That's a turn off and even if I love the things that your business sells, it would make me just not want to shop with you again. And that's just facts. So it's so many things that's involved with you building a trust and a relationship with your customers, whether it's by shipping stuff out fast, whether it's by going live, speaking to them, letting them see your inventory, whether it's posting the actual products that you have in stock. Whether it's you sending out cute little emails and stuff like that. It's so many things involved with this. But everything that I spoke on in this video comes into play as far as growing your business. And these are all things that I do that help me grow my business on a daily. That helps me gain new customers on the daily. And then referrals. If somebody got their shipping fast and they know somebody else, girl, her shipping is fast. Because one thing that people don't like shopping online is because of the shipping. They like the convenience because they don't like to leave the house, but they don't like the fact that most people ship and take forever. So that's why I try my best to ship stuff. I, for the most part, since 2022 started, y'all, I've been going to the post office every single day. <laughs> shipping these orders out, shipping 50 plus orders every single day. And I got a whole bunch of orders to ship out tomorrow. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video again. Emphasis on if you see um, somebody posting a luxury apartment, if you see somebody posting a nice car, just because you start a business does not mean that you're going to get these things. Even if you start a business, these, these things don't happen. Y'all don't be knowing the behind the scenes. Like with me, say my picture ends up on an explore page. I did not start my business yesterday. This is my third year in business. And again, I work my job. So... Money that I'm using does not mean that it's directly from my business. You might see a business owner post stuff and you don't know that they have a job. You don't know that they do Uber or they do other things on the side to obtain the money that they're able to get these things. Y'all just see somebody's a business owner and y'all automatically assume that they got something and y'all think that, oh, they got it from their business. And then when you actually start a business for the wrong reasons, you don't have the motivation. You don't have the drive because you did not start your business for the right reasons. If you are passionate about what you're starting your business in, you will have no problem putting in the work, staying motivated, staying dedicated because you know this is what you want to do. Me, I knew this was what I wanted to do. Even though I didn't have that much support, I knew that this was what I wanted to do. I knew that iTasty is going to be a household name. I knew that iTasty was here and here to stay and she's not going nowhere. So that is pushed me if you're starting a business because you see some flashy material girl expensive type of stuff and you want that too and you decide to start a business and then you start a business and the people you thought was gonna follow and support and not supporting um you're posting and getting those sales that's gonna make you want to close your business down but i hope y'all enjoyed this video i don't want to make this video too 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 long but if you were not subscribed what are you doing sis if you watched the video all the way to this point and you're not subscribed what are you doing sis hit that subscribe button follow me on instagram my business my personal and i will see you guys on the next video